Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, like tonight we are doing three miles in honor of three fallen first responders who have all lost their life in the line of duty. And sadly, like tonight for our first mile is going to be for fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr. He worked with the New York City Police Department in New York, and his end of watch was February 4th of 2021. And he lost his life after suffering a 9 11 related cancer that he received following his assignment at the search and recovery efforts following the 9-11 terrorist attacks. He was 71 years old at the time of his passing, serving 19 years of service with the NYPD. He was a U.S. Army veteran and leaves behind a wife, mother, two daughters, two sons, two steps, two stepsons, along with uh, many grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Tonight, I'm running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track of my school which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor, and I'm going to be joined tonight by many first responders who are joining us this run tonight. Before the run starts, we're going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hard time they are going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight's Zachary running his first of three miles this evening on the Three Heroes lost as a result of 9-11 cancer. This first mile tonight in honor of fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr. He worked with the New York City Police Department in New York. His end of watch, February the 4th, 2021, lost his life as a result of cancer that he developed following his assignment to the search and recovery efforts following the World Trade Center attacks on 9-11. He was 71 years old, time is passing, serving 19 years as a member of the NYPD, was a U.S. Army veteran as well. He's behind a wife, a mother, two sons, two daughters, two stepsons, and many grandchildren and great-grandchildren. We always are appreciative of every local agency that continually comes out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah tonight, helping to pay tribute to fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr. We got members of our home city agency, the Winter Springs Police Department. Actually, our chief is leading the way. Our home county agency, Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Florida Fish and Wildlife here today as well, as well as other first responders. Again, we're here today to pay tribute to fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr., who served with the New York City Police Department in New York, tragically losing his life February the 4th, 2021, after succumbing to cancer that he received as a direct result of the 9-11 search and recovery efforts. 71 years old, serving 19 years with the NYPD, not only did he serve his community, he served his country was a U.S. Army veteran and leaves behind a large loving family, including a wife, mother, two sons, two daughters, two stepsons, and many grandchildren, and many great-grandchildren. We always carry a unique flag every run. Flags that we're carrying tonight, the blue line flag will work its way to the family of fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr., along with the note that Zechra wrote earlier in the day to honor this hero. If you'd like information on how you can be part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. I'm gonna also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can also be a part of this mission. As Zechra completes lap number one, or sorry, lap number three and begins lap number four, I'm gonna go silent and I'm gonna remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero tonight fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr. We extend our thoughts and prayers to everybody with the Mackey Sr. family, his wife, his mother, his sons, daughters, stepsons, all of his grandchildren, great-grandchildren, as well as the New York Police Department mourning the loss of another hero lost as a result of the 9-11 terrorist attacks.
Zachary, final words tonight for the family of fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr. To the whole family of fallen detective Charlie W. Mackey Sr., along with everybody from the New York City Police Department, who unfortunately were, I believe, running all three miles for tonight, um, along with all the family he left behind. Um, that includes his wife, mother, um, two sons, two daughters, and two stepsons, along with his many grandchildren and great grandchildren, um, and the legacy he left behind. We hope, we hope all of that can just let you know how much of a true hero he was and that we are here with you through this difficult time as well. Um, every single year we lose more and more from uh, the 9-11 search and recovery efforts from an illness or a cancer. Um, and sadly, these, um, these deaths, you know, the, the, the main reason why these first responders lost their life was over 20 years ago. Um, it takes a long time for them, for people to find out um, that it was line of duty. So even though it's been over a year since his passing, we hope that this run can still bring as much comfort as possible for his whole entire family department through the difficult time they are facing. If you are part of the family, I'll be sending you this blind flag. I remember to sign in your hero's honor very soon, along with a handwritten note that I've already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is absolutely no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the notes, but whatever you decide to do with it, we hope it forever brings you comfort, knowing that you're having supporters down here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation helping you through this difficult loss. If all of you now, now join us in two things, first of all, a 21 second moment of silence. Uh, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day, kidding, what an amazing thing. Um, Sergeant, sorry, uh, Detective Mackey during his life, including as a detective in his community, um, each second can also dedicate close to a year he served on duty. Following that will also be a prayer, so if all of you would now please bow our heads and join us in this 21 seconds. Please do right now. Dear God, tonight we came out here to run for a fallen detective who lost his life in the line of duty following a um, cancer that he received following the 9-11 surgery recovery efforts that he helped take a part of over 20 years ago. God, 9-11 can, continues to lose more and more every single year just because of all the illness and cancer that causes from all the smoke, debris, and rubble faced um, near those buildings. And it, it includes lots of first responders. Um, all three of these runs tonight are four 9-11 related illness or cancer first responders that have all been added in the past week. Um, so God, watch over Detective Mackey's whole entire family. Um, I know you left behind a huge, huge family and lots of people that he loved and lots of people that loved him. Uh, but at the same time, watch over everybody at the New York City Police Department. They lose so much every single year, not only just from 9-11 related illness or cancer, but from every other department that a big city would have uh, significantly chances of losing a first responder from. God, thank you again. Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us in this one run. Like I did say, we're doing two more runs tonight. Both of them are also for uh, two more first responders who have lost their life from a 9-11 related illness or cancer. If all of you please join us in that run, those two runs, it would also mean a lot. We hope you all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.